Everybody, welcome to Mish Music Now. I am Michelle Weir, and this is Kai Kitamura. Hello, everyone. We're here in Tokyo, of course. Konnichiwa. Yeah, konnichiwa. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're talking about eighth notes today. Yes. Do you like eighth notes? Yes, I love eighth notes. I, I do too. I like them a lot. Um, I like eighth notes because eighth notes are really very responsible for a lot of things in the music and the musical field. Um, the way we treat the eighth notes has a lot to do with the way our pocket sounds, the groove, the pocket, the feel, the inner rhythm. They come into play in terms of um, style and personality. There's so many different things we can do with eighth notes. We can lay it back in some fields. We can articulate more in some fields. We can articulate less in some fields. Uh, our relationship to the steady beat changes uh, depending on the groove and depending on the tempo and all of it just boils down to we want to really check out what our eighth notes are doing so we thought we'd just do a little bit of uh, swing feel like what we have right here is a good old-fashioned medium swing feel there's nothing too special about it, except it's got to feel good. 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 It could have a medium articulation, but a or it could have a very very smooth articulation. The more the articulation, the more we ghost notes. And we've got the possibility to lay back if we want to at this tempo. So I could lay a little bit more back than I was before. But I could do it with a smooth feeling. Or I could do it with a very articulated feeling. Faster. I gotta be on top of the beat. I can't lay back too much. I gotta push ahead just a little bit. I can't let it fall back. But I could articulate. I can articulate. I can articulate. But Slow work. Ten. So, oh my goodness. Woo! Totally, totally. A, a whole different thing now. I could be real laid back. I could be real strong and defined in where I put my notes, placing them very deliberately. And I could lay back so far, it's kind of amazing. On the opposite side, 
on the opposite side. I could be very simple and let it be more even. The eighth notes could be more evenly weighted. Ba do da do ba do do ba do 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 ba 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 da ba da ba da do da do ba 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 do ba ba do ba ba do ba ba do ya do 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 ba do ba and then we could go into straight eighth notes back kind of a rock groove right now this is going to be a little bit heavy. Because it's a rock groove, I'm rolling into it. Notice that we have an articulation that might be like down up, down up. Down up, down up, down up, down up, and we go a little bit slower. Then look what happens. Suddenly I feel a one into two into three into four. Oh my gosh! There's suddenly sixteenth notes. It just happened naturally in the rock group. This can easily morph into a Brazilian straight eighth group. Yeah. So, it's going to be a little soft hit. I'm going to let my voice be a little bit sweeter. There's not so much emphasis on pocket exactly. I've got a little bit more flexibility to do things, to do things with the notes, be a little bit ahead of the beat sometimes, or be behind the beat sometimes, or sort of just be free around the beat sometimes. But then I can find my eighth note pocket again. I can find my eighth note pocket again and let it be easy. Easy. Why? Because we're in Brazil. Because we're in Brazil. And it's nice. And that could turn into the song, but especially if we go a little bit faster. Ah, there. That feels good. It feels like I want to stay on top of the beat. I want to stay on top of the beat. I want to stay on top of the beat. I want to push the beat a little bit. I want to be ahead. I don't want to fall behind. I want to push the beat. I want to stay a little bit ahead. I don't want to fall behind. And I can do lots of things. I can that rhythm. My voice can be soft. Or it could have some art condition. You could dig in a little bit more if I want to. And all of these are still eighth notes, even though we feel the half note, half note in the samba. And now, and now we. And we're back from Brazil, and back in Tokyo now. Yes, I'm in Tokyo. We're in Tokyo. Yeah. Did, what does this mean, by the way? Uh, oh, this, is this ancient? Uh, uh, this is stuff? the name of the, the sponsor. Actually, we are now oh. in a shrine, Japanese shrine. Mm -hmm. And these are the uh, enthusiastic sponsors who donate much money. Oh, to, thank you, uh, sponsors, yeah, for letting us so do it. You know, even, I mean, in the Buddhist uh, Japanese shrines, they love vocal percussion, don't they? I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> yes. Kai is with the group. Uh, he appears on many people's CDs, and I, he does a lot of performances. But he's living in Tokyo, yeah. Yes. And is with a group called The Idea of North, which is something you should check out. I think you just recorded a CD. Yeah, a just CD. now uh, we are recording. Mm -hmm. Are you recording? Yeah, recording just done, thirteen songs. Yeah. Uh, but we are going to record more songs and. Maybe next year you can listen to it. Okay. Yes, great. So do, depending on when you're listening to this video, it may be out already. So check it out, The Idea of North, and look on the notes in the, uh, on the YouTube channel description. Depending on where you're watching this video, go to Mish Music Michelle Weir. Be sure to um, 
let us know how you liked it. Okay, we'd love to hear from you. You're always welcome to contact me and uh, give Kai a shout too. Do you have a website or something that you'd like to Oh yes, just check the, the website of the Ideal North and you can easily find a website and I met, my name is on it. So you, you can contact with us very easily. Okay, the yeah. Idea of North. It was fun to try this. We'll do it again sometime, okay? Yes, please. Okay. Let's keep in touch. Okay, bye. Thanks everyone. Bye.